What's up? My name is Colby Sharp. I am a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall in love with reading. And one way that we do that is by sharing great books with them. And every week for the last, I don't know, four-ish weeks, I have been sharing book mail and people seem to like it. They like seeing the new titles. They like watching me open packages. And so we're gonna keep going as long as people are watching. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna open the books that I got in the mail the last week. It's a little more than a week because I was uh, didn't open anything during spring break and I'm still catching up from that. So we're gonna open a bunch of packages today. I will share my thoughts on them. And hopefully you can find some books that you wanna to add to your to read list. Thank you to Sarah Elby, the author uh, who bought me this sweatshirt. It looks weird that I have my name on my shirt, but it's a college that her kids went to in Maine. So I kind of love it. All right, so we're gonna start out here just opening things, just sharing what we think. I'm not very good at author's names, so I'm sorry if I get those wrong on this. To all the authors, uh, that's my fault. Oh, these are Ruth Spiro. I love Ruth Spiro. I loved all of her uh, Baby Loves science books. And we have, these must be like a new series, right? Political science. Baby Loves a Presidency and Baby Loves Congress. Not gonna lie, pretty excited about these. These are fun. Check it out. Nice little board books from Ruth. Ruth, congratulations on the new series. Thank you to Charles Bridge for sending those my way. All of the books that I will be opening today, I got in the mail and I didn't buy. So thank you to the publishers who sent them. I appreciate it. And I will try to read as many of them as I possibly can. Stuffed into darkness. Da, 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 da. That looks kind of fun, right? Look at that little creature. Stuffed into darkness. Excited to check that one out. All right, let's see what we have here. This is from Candlewick. Not gonna lie. You get pretty excited when you see that Candlewick title on the envelope. Let's see what they got for us today. Candlewick. Scribble Sorrows. Russet Leather Boots. Life of Louisa May Alcott. That looks fun, right? Author of Little Women. All right, all right. Picturing a nation. Well, that looks cool. The Great Depression's finest phot photographers introduce America to itself. Oh, I love books like this. Oh, dang. Oh, you've probably seen this photo, right? Faux show, faux show. Oh. Goodness, goodness, goodness. That's exciting. Picturing a nation. Looking forward to checking that out. This one is from a friend, Elaine Vickers. And I think it's her new young adult book, which I'm super stoked. Check that out. Does that look legit right there? There were thousands of people watching my best friend, hundreds of cameras snapping and shooting his every move. But when the show's over, we all look away. So nobody saw it happen. Nobody knows how or why, or even exactly when he disappeared. It sounds really good. It sounds kind of scary. I can try scary. I can try scary. I can try it. All right, let's see what we got next. Looks like it's from Harper Collins. I read this book. It's really, really good. I read the advanced copy. It might even be, yeah, it's right, it's right there. It's really, really good. So you should read it. It's awesome. It's about these two kids and one moves in and the other one has been there and it's just pretty wild how they just realize that they have like, it, I can't give anything away. I actually made a video on it so you could watch that. But this book is super awesome, fantastic from Walden Pond Press. Always love Miss Arnold's books from them. Wish you all the way. She's ready to make the first move. Ooh, that looks fun. So I'm going to Hawaii this summer. Maybe this could be like my going to Hawaii read. Another box here from Harper Collins. When you see like a publisher's name, do you ever think of a book, like a certain book? It's like when I see Candlewick, I often think of um, K. 
Kate DiCamillo. When I see Harper Collins, I often think of the one and only Ivan by uh, Harper Knight. Okay, you probably knew that. Oh, ooh, ooh, oh, oh. It's a pretty, this is a pretty, uh, this is, this is a really good box of right here. So this one is going very, very high on the to read list instantly. Finding Judy Kim Alano. Doesn't that look amazing? Like, yeah. Oh, goodness. Off to a good start today. Hollow Chest, Britta Sandstrom. Hide your heart, they're coming. Ooh, that sounds kind of scary. Debut author, I love reading debut authors. Like, think about all the great debut author books we've got and think about like, hold on. How was it, Peter? Uh, we had, right, because of when Dixie, Kate DiCamillo, we had um, Watson's Go to Birmingham, 1963, Christopher Paul Curtis. We had our only May Amelia, Jennifer Holm. We had Hattie Big Sky, Kirby Larson. So many amazing books published by debut authors. And we have a new debut author here. So Ann Ursu, blurb from Ann Ursu. It's always a good thing. Looks kind of scary. It's like a wolf right on the cover, maybe. I'm gonna have to investigate this. World War II. Then we have what look like some couple amazing young adult novels that you're gonna to wanna to add to your to read list. So I'm really, my, my young adult to read list is really growing. A lot of times I will, I will really dig into a bunch of those titles in the summer when I'm not trying to read a book and hand it directly to one of my fifth graders. Cause some of these look like read fifth grader. Like this one right here, Unsettled. From Pakistan to Peach Tree City, Nura's stirring story of finding your place. Look at that cover, jeez. Jeez, Harper Collins, knocking it out the park. I don't think we're gonna get through all these today, folks. Try to speed it up a little bit. Rules of Threes by Marcy Campbell. I love this book. It's an honest, empathetic, insightful ode to the resilience of family. Well, thanks for that blurb, Sarah Pennypacker. How do you share parents with a stranger? Whoever's in charge of like that copy hooked me. I got to my house and was reaching out to turn the doorknob when dad opened the door. I smiled at him, but he didn't smile back. He just stared at me like he wasn't sure if he should let me in. When he finally spoke, he said, Mags, we need to talk. I felt like I'd been punched in the gut. Oh my. That sounds so good. That sounds so good. Sheesh. Oh man. I don't even know what it's about but I know I need to know more. Rules, rule of three. I keep saying rules. Rule of three, rules of three. That doesn't make sense. I'm on it. Ooh, it's one of those uh, Mo Willems, Elephant and Piggy like books. One of my favorite things about these is that, and I think it started with Lori Keller with We Are Growing, maybe, is they always draw themselves, the, the creator and Mo Willems as like characters-ish from the book. So isn't that fun? There's Mo. And there's Andrea. I'm on it. Do I need to read that book? Yep, I'm on it. All right. I might have to, might have to try that one out at bedtime tomorrow because, you know, I got a little humans here. The Tree and Me, Corinna Lucan. I love her books. The Book of Mistake is one of Book of Mistakes is one of the first books I read my students every single year. And her art is just it's just exquisite. Look at that. Good night. The tree and me. Got some reading to do, y'all. Fatima's Great Outdoors. That looks super fun. Gonna have to read that ASAP. I might just have to read some picture books tonight. Feeling like a picture book night. Somebody builds the dream. Lisa Wheeler. Lauren Long, who makes a dream come true. I have been following a lot of the process of making the art from Lauren's social media and 
I'm just gonna have to open up the sewer pipe. So let's just randomly select. <gasps> Seriously, you just open up to that? Like, look at that. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Holy, people be making great books. Just making great books. This is from Holiday House. And we have some F and G's. So when they make advanced copies of, if you're new to, to this sort of thing, when they make advanced copies of picture books, you know, it's this is like a solid book. But they make them, it's called fold and gather. They just kind of print it and put it on, a, and fold the pages together. So here we have um, My Tiny Life. Ooh, that looks fun. Let's see, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard, right? But June 21st, it's my birthday. I just opened up to my birthday. That's cool. A nature diary. Let's check that out. This one looks phenomenal. Three, Stephen Michael King. Look at that. Yeah, I'm feeling, feeling the picture books. Feeling the picture books. Lucas makes a comeback. Balling. I've been I've been I've been hooping at recess lately. It's uh, I feel like my shots just not what it used to be. My shot at fifth grade, or maybe the fifth graders are getting better. Check these out. Giant mess. Spring cakes. Oh, this is fun. Mirror's picture day. Picture day. Always a great, always a great topic in a picture book. Always an adventure at school. The missing hamster. Dun, dun, dun. Girls and boys come out to play. Yeah, I'm just going to have to, maybe I won't even go upstairs. Maybe I'll just read a bunch of picture books and then head up afterwards. I don't know. Kind of gap heart. I really like her books. That's exciting. Go be wonderful. Go be wonderful. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go be wonderful. I don't know. I just like the ring. That has a good ring to it. What we got here? What do we got here? I don't know. Don't know what we got here. Only my dog knows I pick my nose. Only my dog knows I pick my nose. This is by the author of the I Survive books. Who knew? Who knew? I'm just curious where, where this idea came from, Lauren. Does only your dog know? That was corny. Oh. Holly McGee. Ooh, look at, look at, look at. Doesn't that just look like a beautiful picture book? What the world could make a story of hope. I loved her picture book, Come With Me. Thank you, Holly. She's also a literary agent to one of my favorite creators. And look, she signed it says for Colby and his crew with love. Aw. Look at how sweet this book looks. Ah. <sighs> oh. I got good feelings about that one, y'all. Okay. We will do a few more boxes. We're kind of pushing 15. 15 is a good limit for these. We don't want to go too long. We got another little package from Holiday House here. Let's see what we got. Dear B, someone is missing. Oh, that's not good. I like these early readers. Oh, that looks super fun. Check it out. I like letters back and forth. So much to read. Marty. Marty is just rocking on it. 
Check it out, check it out, check it out. Marty is a master of disguises, Marty. When grandfather flew. And the author of Sarah, plain and tall. That cover. Covers bringing me in, y'all. Bringing me in. Maybe we could just plow through the rest and I could be, I could be all caught up. Don't want to cut towards yourself because that's dangerous and, you know, don't want to be a bad example in case the kids are watching. Sophie Valdez's big project book for awesome activists. Become an awesome activist like Sophie Valdez. That's awesome. Super fun. I don't know about you, but my kids love this sort of thing. And we have here The Ship of Stolen Words by Frank Wilde. The Ship of Stolen Words. That looks fun, right? Fantasy readers. Fantasy readers got some stuff. Maybe we'll do one big box and then save the rest for next week. So we'll do this big Penguin Random House box. And then I will go and fold laundry. Oh, opening books is so much more fun. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we have in this big, huge box. Violet and Daisy. Oh, this is the story of the Valdevilles, famous conjoined twins. Oh, kids are going to be pretty intrigued by that. That's nice. Got to have some more nonfiction. Trying to, to do better as a nonfiction teacher, reading nonfiction aloud. That's going pretty well. Aurora burning. They're not going down without a fight, we hope. He's looking at you. We are a garden. How A story of how diversity took root in America. Well, that cover is fascinating. Holy smokes. Solar, so solar, star of the party. The solar system celebrates. Looks like a party I can get behind. Spaceman. True story of a young boy's journey to becoming an astronaut. This is adapted um, for young readers. Spaceman through and through, says Bill Nye. Pumpkin War by Kathleen Young. Ooh, I like this. I like the size of this, right? Like, it almost fit this in the pocket. Yeah. It's got a Holly Goldberg Sloan blurb on the front and a Chris Rabenstein blurb on the back. I like it. Oh, what do we have here? It looks like a graphic novel. Rickety Stitch. The Battle of the Bards. That looks sweet. Just open up, see what you get there. Don't think I'm having any trouble getting a kid to read that. The end is just the beginning, a book of endless possibilities. History Smashers, the Titanic. I love this series. So there's one on voting and the Mayflower and Pearl Harbor. Uh, Kate Messner, who's amazing, takes important events in the history of our country and uh, makes books about them where she helps us to kind of get rid of the myths and focus in on the facts. And she's covered a lot of the most popular, now she's covered a lot of the most popular topics in children minds like the things that they're super interested in the titanic world war ii like people coming to the americas are three of the most popular topics and the women's voting rights which i love that that is also one of them hopefully that can become a topic that more kids are interested in and i actually think that it has in the last handful of years so she the truth is i'm so intrigued but this is like kids just are so interested in the titanic it is like they just cannot get enough of it. So History Smashers. If you haven't seen this series, seriously, just buy it. Buy it all. Buy all four now. Encouraging words from John Cena. Do your best every day. 
to do your best every day. Is that the wrestler? That's the wrestler, John Cena. That's fun. Kids like wrestlers. Do your best every day to do your best every day. That's fun. Let's see what that one looks like. We have Everyone Dies Famous in a Small Town. Well, that sounds, I like that title. He effortlessly weaves the lives of several teenagers into a perfect taboo of heartache and hope that will leave the reader breathless. An unforgettable, masterful collection. Oh, there's just so many good books to read. The Thief of Worlds. Jeez Louise. I got some reading to do, friends. Fade into the Bright. That looks uh, just inviting. Inviting as all get out cover. She just read this book. War and Millie McGonagall. Kids love World War II. And this is a book where you get a chance to visit World War II. Um, like leading up to the bombing of Pearl Harbor and the weeks after from someone who lives in San Diego, which was pretty interesting with it being, you know, off of there on the West Coast. Notes from a Young Black Chef, a memoir. I don't know this book. Kisses and croissants. Ho, ho, ho. There we go. I didn't see this one. Thornwood, Sisters Ever After. Oh, boy. So it looks like we have maybe like a tangled or, you know, like some uh, fractured fairy tales going on here. Kids can never get enough of that. Ooh! Boom, book two. Meow Max, Cat Crusader, Donuts in Danger. This is a really fun graphic novel series. This is the second one. I really enjoyed the first, look at this. Thing. Just pop it, you know, just pop in. You know you wanna read it. This will probably, of all of the ones that I said are going to be added to uh, bedtime reading with my children, like this is, this is the one that they're gonna wanna pick. Regina is not. A little dinosaur. Like, I haven't even opened this book yet. I bet I read this book 50 times in the next two months. My life is awesome. I'm very blessed. So those are some of the books that came in the mail recently. And uh, it looks really good. And I'm excited to share them with kids, to share them with my family, to see which ones I fall in love with. Because, you know, there could be a book in these stacks that ends up being one of my students' favorite book of all time. There could be a book in these stacks that ends up being one of your students' favorite books of all time that turns them on to reading, that hooks them. Like this could be the series that captures your reader's heart forever. And when they grow up, they think about this book and they have this amazing positive reading experience. Like it could be this book, right? It could be this book or like, this could be the next great author. Britta Sandstrom could become, like, this amazing, like, could be the next, like, I don't know, Kate Camillo. You never know. This book could bring a high school reader back to reading for the first time since they were 10. You just never know, people. You just never know. It just takes one stinking book. Just never know. So we have some work to do to help find those books that reach the hearts of our readers and can get them hooked, and get them to want to read even more. Looking forward to digging into these. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you stayed to the end, you are amazing. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome-tastic day.